Hey guys, so it's Jim from Just Push Play, Ottawa's video game web show, and today I'm at the Raven's Nest at Carlton University. So, uh, we have a lot of games coming up ahead. So you guys keep on watching, we really appreciate it. And, uh, it looks like a lot of people are really enjoying the videos as well. So, uh, hey, you know, since we're at the Raven's Nest, maybe we'll have a basketball game in the future, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll even record inside the Ravens Nest, we'll see one day if we can get the, the right permission to do it. So, anyways, keep on gaming, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Gang bang, it's gang bang bang bang, don't get me go crazy, never wanna stop. It's gotta be you, tonight. Ooh, with your bushy beard, that I don't have, weep for it. So anyways, today we're playing Gang Beast. I guess I came back. <laughs> anyways, what I was going to say, this is the only game I've ever played where groping an old man is A-OK -okay because everyone's drunk as AF. And you can toss him into the fires of Mount Doom. It's really awkward because like, it's like groping up and like he's climbing you. And it's like, what is going on? Like, who, who is groping who and why and like... Why is everyone in this game like crazy? Cause like you see people like fall down the sides online. I've never seen a video game before where you, you know, Each everyone, no one makes any sense. No one makes any sense. It's like Why everyone's dressed like Brent Sanchez. Every, everyone's joystick seems to be broken when you play online. Like, like ours, I don't know why, but like we have a controller that, that likes to go off culture. But like people for some reason fall off the cliff for no reason this game and I noticed like they'll do stupid things like they'll fall over the side of the, the bridge or like that guy that fell down into the pit like I don't know what he was thinking to do he didn't even win in the end did he the guy that fell down on the second level yeah it's right away no he didn't win no and this game reminds me of uh, drunk food fighting but I don't know they're very similar but I felt like I could actually I don't know, they play really similarly, but this game's more polished. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's been there a lot longer. Um, I don't know, like, they, they play almost the same. I, at first, I was going and thinking, like, I liked Drunk for Fighting more, and now I'm thinking, like, Gang Beast is probably Gang better. Gang Beast has better, like, it's just. It seems and more still being played. crazier. Yeah, well, Drunk Fu is not finished. It's still in early access, but I really like this. I just feel like you have to be drunk for everything to make sense. I didn't feel like that with Drunk Fu fighting so much, um, but I think this game competitively would be fun. Oh, yeah. Um, this is a really good game to play if you are bored one night and you want to play online. Yeah. Um, there's like almost no skill involved to play this game, and I feel like if you took this to a con, then you would then... This, this is definitely a con game, I will say. Um, yeah, the, I don't know why it's not being taken to a con here in Ottawa. It should be. The only problem I, I see is you, it's only local multiplayer and online multiplayer. Like, like if you... Can't mix and match. No, you, no can't, AI. You, you can't. Yeah, no AI. That, that's. I don't know. You think it wouldn't be that hard because it's. But pretty basic. There's also no um, actual tutorial on how to mm -hmm. overall play the game. So it's like you have to guess. So I have to check my controls. It's like hit and miss. That's, like at least with drunk food fighting, that's what I think I was getting at. I just didn't realize that time and particularly. But you. You can see what you're doing. Like, yeah, your characters are like wobbly, but like with this, it's like everything feels like random. Like yeah. even your movements. With drunk food fighting, I felt like at least you had a bit of control. That's my main criticism of this. Like, I guess in a way, it makes like people that play video games all the time it balances it out with people that don't. But with that said, I, I can see like it takes a certain. If you want precision, precision in this game, you're not going to get it because it defeats the point of this game. So if you're used to like 
Street Fighter where like you're trying to deke out the person. Or Super Smash Bros. Melee where you have to rely on glitches, legit honest to god glitches to actually uh... That's the thing, like this game is totally not that and I, that's why I feel like... I, I think that's what irks me with this. I, th I think that really is it. Um, so... Um, I don't know. I don't know what you what do you think. I I give it an eight out of ten. I'm not sure if I give it more than that. Like I like it, but I just feel like I like, it's it's like the melee people would be upset with this because there's no like it's not it's not like skill as much as like just random walls. Yeah, I like this game. I really like this game. All stages, all items. I own, I can only recommend this game if you are really dedicated to like. Playing this game multiplayer, yeah, or if you have a bunch of locally. friends, I mean, locally, um, online people or online are weird. Yes, but it's that's kind of the fun thing. People online are weird, and you get a lot. Like this game is better watched than played sometimes. Yeah, because if you're that's shit at it, you can just get yourself eliminated and see two of the best people duke it out in this epic fight. the dumbest fight. people. You get you see people doing crazy cool tricks like. Um, they, like, yeah. at one point, all you were like this. Like, like three of us. Three you were just standing there doing nothing, yeah. and the, the guys went up to you and you threw them off the building. Yeah, three characters, uh, including me, fell off into a fan, but one of them managed to survive and hang on long enough to get the win. I think that person knew what they were doing. There's no way that... Yeah, there's no way that they didn't know what they were doing. So... I think, yeah, I think that's the biggest appeal of this game, it just, uh, you have to like your game random and... You, you have, have, yeah, this is just, this is basically, this is more of a entertaining game than it is a competitive game. I think with this game, it's, it's kind of like genital jousting, like, if you want to see the craziest fan base and, like... The craziest fighting that games? I've seen, or just any genre for me, like... The people online at General Jeff's team, they're just trying to penetrate each other. They're not trying to win, they're just trying to annoy you. Like, it's... I've never played an online game where it's, like, they're not there to win, they just want to see how they control people. And I've played it online multiple times, and that's what I've noticed. In this game, it's, it's kind of like a weird version of that. <laughs> Unlike Splatoon 1, where, like, some of them, some of the people seem to be, like, 10 years old, and barely can push the controller and then you go by and you like knock them out you get a free kill and then you dominate the uh, the match which is really weird when you see that people not playing the game so yeah that's what I gotta say and what all I gotta say it's is drunk Smash Brothers when you when you when you play this game pop a bag of popcorn there's no weapons though too that's the other thing I thought was drunk better about drunk food fighting there were weapons there's no weapons in this ah. I just realized Trucks for fighting had one base. Like I thought it did. So yeah. So I did, so yeah. Grab yourself a bag of popcorn. Go online and watch the craziest shit ever. Yeah. Keep on gaming. Grab an old man. And he might climb you. All right. Keep on gaming. Bye.